Hi. Hi, everybody. How are you guys doing? Of course, I'm Connie from Connie's Creative Creations. Tonight, we on uh, my uh, this live, of course, I always get tongue tied. Sorry. You, if you know me, you know I get tongue tied. But I have a special guest. Her name is Marjorie, and she's from the Jitters Blessings, as well as we're going to have Sarah from Can Sarah DIY as the moderator for us. So let's say hello to my guest. Hi, everyone. Hello. And we've got a few people here, so that's good. All right, so tonight we're going to be making wreaths. If you know anything about Marjorie and her channel, she makes some of the most uh, beautiful wreaths. And I've loved them from the moment I saw her make them. I love to make wreaths, but I think she probably makes prettier wreaths than me. In fact, I know she does. So, Marjorie, do you want to explain what um, type of wreath you're making tonight? Sure. I'm actually going to make a, a deco mesh wreath with a 21-inch and 10-inch deco mesh. And I'm going to use the poof style and the cruffle method, but it's going to be a Juneteenth wreath uh, that I'm making for a customer of mine. And for those that don't know what Juneteenth is, it's the um, it's like an Independence Day where the emancipation of in slavery that for it's actually celebrated on June 19th. So that'll actually be Sunday of next month. So. One of my customers had requested it, and that's what I'll be doing today. That's great. Awesome. And um, I am making... Um, in the chat, we've got... I just want to just quickly say... Oh, uh, Liz, Liz Santabria has been waiting, which is awesome. We love Liz. Yes. Um, Jackie Burns is here from Jackie Burns awesome. Creations. Hey, Jackie. Um, and Brenda from Moner's Market popped in and said, hi, ladies. And she's awesome. saying hello to everyone. Cool, cool, cool. <laughs> yeah. All right. So I have a dollar, uh, not a dollar, I have a wreath form from the Dollar Tree, and this is 14 inch, and I'm using deco mesh as well, but I'm not doing the poof style she's doing. I'm making, I made these little, what did you call them, Marjorie? Bundles. Bundles. Oh, that's simple. Okay, I made a bunch of these bundles, and I might be making more, and then I'm going to embellish it with some, uh, tiger lilies so let's get started um and we'll see where we're at when we get done Shelly, shelly's crafty corner says hello everyone hi shelly so the deco mesh is it always like a metallic or do you is there ever like deco mesh that's just like a matte because i always see it like very yeah, there shiny. Is. Oh, there, there, is. there is there is can you kind of see this one? I don't know if you can see it too well, but it's more of a matte kind of look is. to it. Okay. And then yeah. this one is uh, actually more of like a metallic. Yeah. Right. Okay. So there's actually different uh, types. You 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 got like burlap type um, deco mesh, and you've got um, I want to say it's called the poly mesh. I could be wrong, but it's more of like a cloth type. So it's a, it is a little bit different than your standard ones like the right and when it feels I make, less like a synthetic you think yes okay and um i wrap it around the two center parts of the the wreath these two because there's four and i always hook it around the two center that ends up being plenty full enough for um this wreath so and I just push it through and then I twist it on the back side and push it together. So you you both are starting with your mesh, but you guys are doing different techniques. Is that accurate? Yes. She's doing the poof, and I thought about doing that, but I decided to do the um, bundles. Instead. And Marjorie, can you talk about what the poof technique is? Like, I don't know what that is. I feel like other people probably know what it is. I don't know what it is. Yeah, sure. Um, so really, you can use the poof method. Well, the way I'm using it really is going to be more for a base where it'll lift up my deco mesh, my 10 inch deco mesh up more. So what I like to do is I like to start on a crossbar and I just go ahead and uh, zip tie a part a part of it to the crossbar 
And then I measure from the point of the crossbar that I tied it to out 10 inches. And the key to making the poof is to kind of make sure your ends are curled under. And then that way, when I get my 10 inches, oh, well, shoot. You know what? I'm a ding dong. <laughs> I should have been putting my uh, Chanel stems on. I'll put this one on into a poof and then I'll... Okay. I'll show that to you. But <clears throat> yeah, I'll just take the 10 inches and then where I meet the 10 inches, I just put that directly into the the pipe cleaner. Okay. And then I just give it a couple of good twists, make sure it's kind of tight. And then that way, when you go to fluff it out, you see that's a poof. Yeah. Well, so you've, got a lot of, you've got a lot of body there. Yeah, so it'll, you'll get it all the way around. And I actually put my deco mesh on top. I don't like open up my pipe cleaners and put it under. I just put it directly on top. So it just creates a, a layer and it gives you a lot of depth into your wreaths. So right. you're both creating a base. Is that accurate, Connie? Well, yeah, I'm going to be doing this part and then I'll be decorating the top part with the flowers and the greenery so yeah and i haven't decided yet if i'm going to hot glue it but probably not i'm probably just going to use uh chanel stems and i'll show you really quick i'll put this aside and i'll show you how i make these these poops because they're Kathleen really, hernandez I mean, they're just stopped in and said hello we've got eight in the chat now awesome okay so I just take the rolls of the deco mesh and I roll it upside down because then it doesn't, it's easier not to roll back on you. And I just take my scissors and I go to about eight and a fourth inches of each color. Did you say eight and a fourth? Eight and a fourth inches. That's specific. What's with the extra quarter inch? I don't know. Other than, <laughs> other than this is why it's lifted up. So I okay. just kind of go right through. Yeah. And then you're giving yourself the extra quarter inch for like a little bit of the roll. Yeah. Okay. I like so then it. I like I the science I, behind it. Yeah. I lay this down and I grab my fingers and I crawl across it. And it becomes a poof, a little, you know, and then I grab the paint, the, the other color, and I do the same thing. I crawl across. And so I end up with this. And then I forgot to cut another Chanel stick. Are you creating kind of like a ruching? Yeah. Okay. You're yep. not like rolling it. You're ruching it. Got it. You can. You can roll it. I prefer okay. to ruch it. I yeah, like the I way that. it looks. Now, of course, there's sometimes when I've done... Um, wreaths that um i do the rolls it depends and see and there's your little it looks like a little florette like it's really pretty it looks like a little flower itself yeah yeah that's what i like about it it's beautiful and i love that you guys are both doing different techniques because i feel like i'm like taking like a college course in wreath making <laughs> yeah. um jordan ornick says hey mama the kids are watching too heart Hey, babe. That's my youngest daughter, my grandkids. Oh, awesome. And the babies, too. And then Simple Roots, uh, Simple Living says, well, I'm glad I caught this one. I need all the tips and tricks for wreaths. Sweetie, <laughs> me, too. I know. I'm like, thank you. I'm like, I feel like I'm taking a college course I just said. I'm like, I love this. Yes, hey, and everyone hit that thumbs up. Do not forget to hit the thumbs up. And also, just so you know, Connie just got the, um, the uh, super, super chat. chat. Yeah, so if you guys are feeling inspired and you want to give a little bit of love to Connie, you can hit the little dollar sign down by the chat and it'll give you the opportunity to just send a little love to Connie and you can do a super chat. Oh, now my puppy's going to bark. <laughs> yeah. You'll get we'll, we'll we'll get the dog to bark if we get a super chat. Or no, we'll get the dog <laughs> to say hello if we get a super chat. <laughs> well, my daughter and her son just got home so oh that must um, be why <laughs> he's barking because they're home 
Um, Kathleen says, so you're, um, the best way to cut your mesh is with a wood burning tool. So your mesh doesn't unravel. Yeah, guys... I've done that before. I just keep forgetting it's sitting way up there on the shelf. <laughs> I keep forgetting to get it. Because okay. you're right. It does. If you, I, if, I don't know if you can see, you can't see very much of it because I cleaned it off. See all this? It's all okay. Over. You can't see it. It was, my whole table was covered earlier. Is that like something where when you have it hanging, it sheds a little? No, really? I've never noticed it shedding. Okay. So I'll say, I just use a rotary cutter. And to me, after, you know, after doing this for a little while, it really it depends a lot on the mesh that you buy. Now, I buy mm -hmm. the majority of my mesh from Craft Outlet. And I'm telling you, I don't have the problem with the um, with it unraveling and, and looking really bad. So, if you yeah, ever want to try it? Mine, I get the little. It doesn't really un. Okay, mine doesn't really unravel. It like sheds a little bit as I cut it. But because you're I, cutting little pieces off. Yeah. So okay. once I get it done, it doesn't. But I've seen people do the wood burning. And the only reason I haven't done that is because I don't have a, a silicone mat to use to cut it with because I don't want to burn. I don't want to burn right. this. This is my um, this is my uh, quilting thing. Yeah, I don't and it's nice it. to have that to measure. Like Marjorie has that nice cutting mat. Like I've I've been watching her measuring out her ten inches, and I'm like thinking to myself. Okay, I have one of those mats that I use when I'm cutting out my numbers for like the balloon things, you uh -huh. know, to protect my surface, but that's perfect. So if I'm making a wreath, I can put that under for measuring and you're using that tool that you use for quilting. Right. Yeah. For your measuring. So that's yeah. important. I mean, I have, making tip. Get a get a ruler of some kind. I have like this thing here too. Okay. And I have a, I have a big one too as well, but they're the big one in this one is for um, sewing. Yeah. I sew, I sew quite a bit, and I don't want to ruin them. Um, we've got a few chats. Um, Jackie, Jackie from Jackie Burns Creation says, I've made a lot of wreaths but never done deco mesh, so I need instructions on this one. <laughs> um, <laughs> Kathleen says, I buy mine from the ribbon store. Um, okay. And then Simple Roots, Simple Living it says Connie and Marjorie is deco mesh your favorite for making wreaths or do you have a different favorite wreath material? That's a great question. Um, um, deco, mesh is, deco mesh is for me, but I have also been getting more into the grapevine wreaths as well. Okay. For me, of course you all know I'm not young. And when I started making wreaths, there was no deco mesh. It was all, um, all of, I mean, not all of, it was all grapevine. And I used to, my brother-in-law used to have grapevines and I literally would go to his house after harvest and cut his grapevines and make it into a wreath to use after it dried. So I love, love uh, uh, grapevine wreaths, but I'll almost do anything. I'll, I'll make a wreath out of a almost anything I can make a wreath out of. But my favorite right now is this. This is the easiest. It has big impact. I mean, it look does. At that. Yeah. I mean, I can, both of you are building your wreaths very, like you're getting impact quickly. Right. Yes. I hear a lot of people are kind of scared and they're intimidated by making, you know, deco mesh wreaths and, I just tried to tell everybody it is very hard to really truly mess up a deco mesh wreath. Like I've watched a lot of it. I could. Huh? If anyone could mess it up, I could. I would tell you my first deco mesh wreath, I didn't use any Chanel stems at all. I, oh, did you would you use zip ties or something? I, no. I looped and stuck it down in, pulled it underneath, looped. Like you do with it. ribbon? Yes. Okay. And it was okay, but I didn't like the fact that there was less form to it. Yeah. I couldn't get it to look right. Really formed, 
know what I'm saying? I don't know what I'm saying, but we're yeah. having so much <laughs> chit chat in the in the chat. Jackie says, "My sister made me some grape vine leaf wreaths last fall." Mm -hmm. Um, Kathleen says, uh, like the ribbon store that she was talking about, it must be a website because she says the guy lives in Louisiana and they have different oh wreath forms. Hey guys, hold on. I just got given a Mother's Day gift. Oh, oh my gosh. And they got a face on it. Oh, it's got, it's in, oh my gosh, beautiful flowers. And I just got my leg wet. <laughs> I love that bag. How pretty. That is so sweet. I've never sweet. seen a flower bag like that. That's gorgeous. I know. Right? Ooh, la la. <laughs> Ooh. I love it. Is that a I drinking mug? It. That's beautiful. Yeah. This is my daughter, by the way, and my grandson. They're trying to hide. Oh, she's Hi. beautiful. Here, let him come over. No, they want to see you. No. <laughs> Kendrick, come over here. <laughs> this is my oldest daughter, Jessica. Hi, Jessica. And Hi. you see him? He's back Hi. there. Hi. That's Kendrick. Hi, Kendrick. Okay. All right. That's, I got that one for you. You got this Maybe one for me? Ooh. I do. That's beautiful. It's a blouse. Oh, that's so sweet. Ooh, a Scooter's gift card. Yummy. Coffee. <laughs> Thank you. I know that won't fit in the card, but you can use it at home. That's right. I can use it at home. Yum. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> oh, that's so sweet. That is. Um, so I, shared, I shared Marjorie's channel in the chat, and Liz just went and subscribed. Awesome. Thank you. And um, Shelly's Crafty Corner said uh, once she created one and she loves it, a uh, deco mesh uh, wreath. And she said with yardstick swag. Yeah. Sure. And then um, Kathleen said, how sweet your gift from your kids. <laughs> and you. um, Simple Roots, Simple Living is just sending lots of heart, like love heart. Awesome. I think everyone thinks the gifts are so sweet. Yes. My, yeah, my other daughter sent me a gift, and this is one of them. I got it yesterday, and this is one thing. That this mug is so cute that you got. Oh, your grandmother's story. Is that for you to like write down? Yes. It asks. I love that. <gasps> it asks. I need to get that for my mom. And see, I've already started doing it. It's for my. It's for her kids. My daughter's kids. No, so, I'm gonna so get them asking me questions. And I'm writing in it for them. And then they got me this picture that says <laughs> Nana's garden. And so it's got different flowers. And the stem is each one of my grandchildren's name written in cursive. Oh, wait. Very pretty, yeah. I was like, yes, that's so pretty. All right, I got two sections, almost two sections left. I had to hook up my uh, hot glue gun because I for I wasn't sure if I was going to use it, and I wanted to heat it, get it hot if I decide to. See how beautiful hers is looking. Oh, I love that. So it's funny when I go back sometimes and I look at the wreaths I made when I first started. Um. um and I look at him now and it's like, how did I ever think that was cute? <laughs> <laughs> well, that first one of the deco mesh I made, I'm like, I was looking at it this Christmas and I made a new one for my, my, uh, my dorks. I'm like, oh, that, did, that didn't look so good. <laughs> but I was going to tell you when I, about the, um, when I used to do the grapevine, wreaths and i'm sure jamie and i'm sure jackie remembers this stuff it's that paper twist so it comes in a bundle and i wish i had it right here i have some still and you untwist it and it opens up i used to make bows out of it 
for my wreaths or in my swags that I used to make. I'd go out in the yard and grab a bunch of branches off the, the um, ground and make swags out of it. Um, I just need to tell you that I just went on Amazon and bought that journal for my mom. Awesome. <laughs> and then also for my daughter's father's mom. So my That's daughter's other grandmother. Yeah. So the same one for, for both of them so that they can each fill it out for Charlotte. That is awesome. Oh, it's yeah, awesome. I love, I'm like really, and I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to print out a picture of each of them with Charlotte and put it in there. In yeah, I can tell you some of the questions that they ask that I've already answered. Some of them I haven't. Um, I says, didn't get the exact one you had, but there were like options and I just got like. Uh, right. This is yeah. like, there's different sections. So well, I read like one of them was like your family tree and like yes. that kind of stuff. This has chapters and it's um, about our family. When you were young, your adolescent years, things you learned about life, growing older and becoming a grandma. That's that. the chapters. And then each, there, each page has different ones. Like this says, what is your favorite holiday and what is your favorite holiday memory? And it's just, it's just the way they prompt you is really um, awesome. I have That's a book like that from my grandmother. Awesome. Yeah. Um, okay. So um, Jackie and okay, let me just see. Kathleen says, Sarah, if you make one buy from the Dollar Tree, she's saying to buy the deco mesh. And I think that I might just because if I'm just trying to explore, I might maybe shouldn't buy like super expensive to try right. out. For the first time. You guys think the quality is okay from the Dollar Tree? Yeah, this is Dollar Tree. Like so for like a beginner, it's good to use the Dollar Tree stuff. Look at my daughter got herself one. I, like, where did you get it from, though? I want one. <laughs> did you get these from Walmart? Yeah, Walmart. Oh, okay. Uh, I'm the, I'm finding more and more stuff that I need. I need to like actually make a trip to my Walmart. It's not close to me. It's like 20, 30 minutes away. Um. Some okay. Shelly's Crafty Corner said Raffia. Yes. No. 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 It wasn't Raffia. It's oh, cool. Okay. Um, and then it, Jamie from Simple Roots says, oh my gosh, I totally remember that, Connie. Yeah, it's not raffia. It was a paper twist. Paper twist. And then Jackie says, I love those for making bows. Yes. Kathleen says, I bought my mom a purse. Nice, Kathleen. Awesome. Liz says, I love that black and red. Thank you. Yeah, yes. And then Shelly says, I use Dollar Tree mesh and add the tool to it too. Does Dollar Tree have tool separate from mesh or is I tool have, the same yeah. as mesh? I don't have you, never, Yes, they have the little tool rolls. Yes. Yeah. I buy tool in. Is bowls. deco mesh different than tool? Because yeah, tool yeah. doesn't have the shine. Yeah, it can. It's just. It's, I'm trying to think of two. If I bought tool at the store, it would be for like a under a skirt or something. It's kind of yeah. It's kind of like the little tutu dresses. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I buy it in in bolts. Tool yeah, that's bolts. how I would buy it. I mean, I mean bolts. Like I'm talking like fifty yards, a hundred yards. Well, I don't know that I would buy that quantity, my love. <laughs> well, I I sew, so I. I mean, I. I occasionally sew. I don't sew at your level or speed. I mean, everything you do, though, you do fast, which I respect. Well, thank you. Sometimes I think I do it too fast. No, no, that's not a thing. <laughs> that that's not a that's not a thing. You you can't do anything too fast. You're great. You're doing it awesome. <laughs> you only live once, babe. Exactly. I got to get everything done. Keep, right? Yeah, keep going at, at top top speed. As long as um, okay, can, Kathleen correct? is saying it comes on a spool. Yeah, yeah, yes. yeah. The tool comes on a yes. spool. Yeah. Oh, the tool on a spool. Oh, I'm feeling a yeah. song coming on. I feel like <laughs> Connie, I've got some inspiration for Connie for later. And you can always get the those at um, Hobby Lobby too. So like you know, every other week they're deco you mesh or ribbon and tool and all those on sale for fifty percent off. You can all. get tool at most um, places that sell fabric. And the deco yeah. mesh too. 
Uh, Deco mesh, not so much a fabric store, but the tool, yes. Deco okay. mesh is any like uh, craft, anywhere this craft stuff. You can actually get the stuff at Walmart too. Yeah, you can. In fact, I've got I mean, it. I've got I, a bunch I'm last like, year. I need to like go do like a full walkthrough at Walmart. I feel like I haven't shopped Walmart since I bought my daughter a bike. Like a couple years ago, I bought her a bike at Walmart, and I haven't, I haven't shopped at Walmart. There, there's not one super close to my house. There's a Target like two blocks from my house. You know? Yeah. yeah. So I don't go to Walmart like because it's far. Right. But I need to. Yeah. Um, Sorry if you guys can hear my puppy whining. That's okay. Um, Kathleen asks, Connie, do you have a self-healing mat? That's what Marjorie is working with, is a self-healing mat. Yeah. Right. The, I feel the, like Connie probably ones, has one. The green the ones green a self -healing. Ones are self-healing. The two green ones I have are, I have a big green one and then I have a smaller green one, but I don't have one of those gray ones. I would like one, but I don't have one. I think I got mine at Walmart. I ordered yeah, one from Amazon and it came Walmart. in a pack of two. Yeah. I don't remember how much they were. But. I just don't, I don't like getting paint on my I'll mat. tell you what, I got, I got paint on my, the one and it made me mad, you know? Yeah. Well, now the other one, like, I don't really use it because I got paint on the other one. And so now the I, other one just like sits protected in a corner. Wait. On my table, it always looks white because my table is covered in butcher paper. Oh. I buy, I buy big rolls of butcher paper. And so I just can get it all messy and dirty and painty. And then I pick up, throw it away and cut another piece. I use um, uh, self-adhesive uh, wallpaper, like clearance wallpaper. I did on my that for a while. Top. I because I don't want it to out. move and like, I don't know. Well, I put- You need carpet. something that's somewhat permanent, but that I can remove, you know? Well, underneath this, mm -hmm. I painted my tabletop white and then okay. I put a con clear contact paper over it. Oh, that's smart. But yeah. uh, butcher paper, nothing goes through it. Yes, I, can I know. Feel... Like when I'm doing, when I'm doing like a, a sublimation, I use- butcher click paper. I just started right. doing sublimation. Jackie Burns says, I bought tool at Wally's just before Easter. What's Wally's? Is that like a Wall, Walmart? Oh, Wally's is Walmart. Oh, that's really cute. That's like Target, <laughs> Target, Target. <Yeah. laughs> Wally's. That's really cute. I've, I've people's called it Wally's for a long, long time. Oh, really? Yeah. I hadn't heard that in a long time. <laughs> That's it's, cute. Yeah. I'm going to start using that a lot. Well, now that I'm, now that I'm going to go there, I feel like it's like a, just a new addiction for me. It's not healthy, but I'm going to do it. Thanks, Jackie. <laughs> I blame you, Jackie. <laughs> <laughs> so what are you doing with your multicolored? Um, I'm just doing the, um, the word well, <laughs> deco mesh. <laughs> I'm just doing like a cruffle method, which is a, a combination of a curl and a, a ruffle. Oh, cruffle. Um, Did you make that up? No. Oh. <laughs> yeah, some some crafter or some wreath makers call it um a woodland ruffle. <laughs> so I like the Yeah, I like the cruffle too because it it actually tells you the two methods that are combined. So it's you know, it's fun to say. <laughs> yeah, I cut mine at 20 inches. So I don't like to have a lot of remnants of deco mesh and, and ribbon and stuff like that. So I try to measure things out perfectly to where I can actually utilize like all my 10 inch deco mesh. Uh, I don't worry too much about the 21 inch because I can do dual colors and stuff like that as a base. But for my 10 inch, I always like to make sure I use the entire roll. So I cut um, mine at 20 inches. Huh? Crafting in Mimi's world just stopped by and she said, hello, ladies, just stopping by to say hi. Hi, Jackie. Hi, Jackie. I mean, it's so funny because you guys are using the same material and your wreaths look so different. 
Yeah, the size of the, the mesh you use is different too because the one that um, Connie's using is, I want to say five and a half to six. Six inches. Yeah, I can't remember which one. Um, yeah, Dollar I, used, Tree did. I used the bigger. I mean, last year I went to um, Walmart right after Christmas and they had a bunch on um, clearance and I got a bunch of it. Mm. And uh, yeah, I've used the larger. I just, it's right where I live. It's just easier to get the Dollar Tree rather than. Uh, yeah, sure. The uh, anything else. How many? How many packs of the Dollar Tree um, deco mesh are you using on that wreath? Not even three. Oh, well, really? no, 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 no. Three. Of each. There's less than three of each color. So about. Just I mean, that's still six. like what? Eight bucks or something like that, right? Seven, eight bucks. Yeah, it's it's less than six of them. So the do it's six, seven and a seven and a half dollars. Yeah. And yeah. So that's not bad. Where'd my other thing go? I hate that when you lose your uh, Chanel stem. And of yeah, course, so I have a hard time calling it a Chanel stem because I know it as a pipe cleaner. I do too. My brain goes back and forth. I've noticed that, Marjorie. You, in, in a single sentence, you'll use both terms. I know, and I don't mean to. It's just, that's just how my... Because... I mean, before I started crafting, that's what it was. They were pipe cleaners. And right. all of a sudden, they're Chanel stems. <laughs> well, yeah, that's just so bougie. I Amanda McCool is here and says hello. Hello. I was in, I worked in a craft store. And um, Jackie, I'm sure, remembers this craft store, Peace Goods. It was in Utah, and it was a discount uh, craft store. Did you and spend when I, your entire paycheck? I tried not to. I would. I know. Yeah, and so um, I, um, where was I going with that thought? Oh, when I started there, it was pipe cleaners. And then all of a sudden, they says, no, you have to call them Chanel stems. Okay, um, uh, Crafting in Mimi's World is saying, who else is making a wreath? So Marjorie from Jeter's Blessings is joining Connie tonight. And I will share her channel again for people that are just joining. If you want to check out her channel. Um, also, Connie just got um, Super Chat. So if you want to show some love or support for Connie's channel, you can do a Super Chat for even, you know, a dollar to support Connie. Or you could do like a hundred dollars and Connie will take me to dinner and get me a steak. Just kidding. <laughs> oh my God. Too silly. Connie, what were you telling me about on your other videos that there's an opportunity for people to show support in their comments? Okay. So it, I just got this today and Very I exciting. noticed it. I noticed it on Andrea Peacock. She announced it today. She got hers as well. And um, it is underneath your, some of you that are monetized probably got it too. Underneath your um, videos, you know where it says save? Right next to it is a little dollar sign. Okay. And you, you can click on that and, and donate money to your crafter on any video. Oh, that is awesome. Yeah, I, I didn't even know about that till I saw Andrea's and I'm like, what? I got to see if I, because I knew I just gotten told, I just gotten the notification that I got um, uh, super chats. And so I went and looked and yes, I got those too. Well, that's fantastic. So make sure that when you're watching Connie's videos, if you feel inspired to do so, feel free to show her some love. Um, and then, you know, she's always here with me. And a special guest every Thursday. Yes, and um, next week, next week I'm I've got uh, Tammy from the Rusted Willow, and then the week after that, I love I'm, her. Oh, I'm excited! Yeah. <laughs> and then the next week I have the Crafting Cousins. <gasps> That'll be fun. Marjorie, do you and get then, that? Like every time she has like a fun guest, that it's fun for me <gasps> too. Jack, yes. Oh, oh my gosh, Jackie. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> oh, let's dance. Woo -hoo, woo -hoo. <laughs> That's awesome, Connie. 
Thank you, Jackie. That was generous. What a sweetheart. Thank you so much. Yeah, and I'm like when I do my uh, painting class, I'm not asking anyone to pay, but if you're inclined to um, donate some money to the cause, I'll take it. Okay, this is oh, all sure. finished. All of the decorations. That is nice and full. That does yeah. not look skimpy. I like it. That is. And I still have a little bit on each one of these rolls. I'll tell you, still... my daughter would put that on her hips and saunter off to school. <laughs> I'll tell you what. <laughs> okay, now I got to figure out how many put flowers on. Now I could just stick them on one at a time. Like, you know what I'm saying? Just stick it in like that. Or I could do a bouquet. I think I might do a bouquet. And these are just from the Dollar Tree. These uh, tiger lilies. Which are my one of my, one of my most favorite flowers, and then I'm using doing the Oriental grass with butterflies. So, okay, but I don't think I'm gonna keep the clumps together. I don't like the way they look together. They're all too close to the same size. So I'm gonna set this aside and make my. My, uh, okay. Okay, so you're going to put a bouquet together and then you're going to place it on the wreath. Yes. So I do that when I place florals in my balloon installations. I create uh -huh. like bunches and then I place them in my balloon installations. Right. This is like placing individual florals. So yeah. it's kind of like that with the wreath. Yeah. Similar. Oh, we've got a lot. Okay, Grandma's Gone Crafty, a.k.a. Leilani. Hey, Sarah. Hey, Leilani. Happy belated birthday, doll. Oh, to my daughter. Hope you had an yeah. awesome day. Of course. Um, And then everybody's saying bouquet. And will you be adding a bow? Oh, that is a great question because Connie is queen of the bows. <laughs> um, I thought about that. I was Wait, what is this contraption? What is this? This is a new thing. What? Wait, Marjorie has a thing. Oh, it's my sign. Oh, oh I was like, what's <laughs> happening? Nobody <laughs> told me about this. I'm sorry. I didn't want to interrupt, interrupt you. I didn't know if it was like a bow making tool or something because Connie has like some contraptions too. Yeah. No, so this is my sign. And what I do is I have these cable mounts and I actually just utilize those. And you can put like a little dab of glue, uh, super glue on the adhesive and then stick it down and then I actually secure it even more with some hot glue. You just never know what the weather is going to be. I live in Texas so it gets really hot in, in here and you know like hot glue can melt and all that stuff. So then I'm just putting my little Chanel stems on it so I can um, attach it to my wreath. Okay I the only re, uh, ribbon I have right now that will match this slightly is this can you see that it's blue and pink and yellow and white so i don't know if that's, that's cute if that would go with these colors do you have any green that might be pretty no no green i have a blue but no green nope no green okay. um kathleen says my grandmother loved tiger lilies and then Jackie says, when was your birthday, Sarah? My birthday's in March, but my daughter Charlotte's birthday was over the weekend. And I did this big birthday party for her. And actually, my video with um, all the different Oreo uh, DIYs, like all the all the stuff I did for the party, I filmed all of it. It's coming out tomorrow night at 5 p.m. If anyone's interested. Um, Leilani is saying, says those wreaths are so beautiful. Loving it. Yeah. Okay. So I've got this part with the sets of flowers. I'm going to hook it together with some, uh, jute. And then I'm going to add the other, the, uh, grass. And I do need to make it. You're right. I do. Um, 
is do we want to bring the dog in the room he's in the room he's in the room he is literally uh three feet away from me okay he, he's crying because i won't pick him up and let okay. him destroy my craft room he's not allowed in here i have a baby gator okay. <laughs> if it doesn't bother you guys i'm sorry i just i'm the one who has to take him at night my husband doesn't take him at night he takes him in the morning um you know what i'm just gonna just to throw a little love back i'm gonna um put i'm gonna put a link to jackie's channel in the chat for anybody that's not already um subscribe to jackie head on over to her channel just throw a little yeah. love back her way what do you think connie i think that would be amazing jackie is one of my very good friends we know yeah. each other in person as well as on youtube we met on youtube but we know each other personally yeah and so she's a very sweet friend and i definitely am glad she's my friend um crafting in mimi mimi's world says i currently have a ladybug wreath from marjorie on my front door it's gorgeous <laughs> awesome That's jackie Warren says i want to make. <laughs> make a ladybug wreath Oh, I have some I really cute ladybugs. little ladybugs, but I do love ladybugs. That's that's a cute idea. Yeah. I well, kind of want to see. I want to see a picture of the ladybug wreath now. Yeah. What was the what was the base, and then what size were the ladybugs? Well, I think it was just. Well, the base was. I make all my wreaths really with a fourteen inch, um, frame from the Dollar Tree. Let's see if I have a picture. Maybe I can. Isn't it one of the ones I used on the? Oh, is it on the? Um... I, I think it was. But I don't know if you can see it well enough. Okay. So it's. I don't know if y'all can really see that. Ooh! Oops, sorry, going the wrong way. Welcome, ladybug. Yeah. Oh, you go for it. I like <laughs> that about you. <laughs> So I was actually thinking about making a door hanger and actually making a um, a ladybug out of two wood rounds and and then just kind of creating it into a door hanger with a little bow and stuff. That would be cool. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and make a bow. So I'm going to have to grab my bow maker. And here's the bundle. It's going to go across the top. And I'll fuss with it more once I get it on there. Okay, so let me, I gotta hold on, I'll be right back. Um, what is happening with this ribbon? This is so much ribbon, Marjorie. I'm I'm cutting the tails. I mean, I can see that you're dovetailing, but you're dovetailing like hundreds of pieces of ribbon. <laughs> I see maybe thousands. <laughs> Feels like it sometimes, but I'm, actually, I'm just trying to be realistic. <laughs> I'm actually only doing like sixteen of each. Okay, just. <laughs> But yes, it doesn't seem like it, though. <laughs> um, Crafting with Mimi's World says, okay, got to run, got to finish creating for next Monday's video. Good night, ladies. Thank you so much for coming by. Thank you, Jackie. Thank you. And then Jackie Burns says, cute stuff, Marjorie. Yeah, I Thank love that you. one. It's so cute. Thank you so much. Now, what color is that ribbon that you're cutting now? It looks kind of green. Am it I is. It's green. Okay, all right. White. I was like, am I, is my, are my eyes... <laughs> Ever since one of my friends told me that one day I'll be able to see and the next day I'll need readers, like, because I'm getting older now all the time, I'm like, are my eyes going? Like every time, every once in a while, I'm like, can I see? And I just keep questioning it, but I'm like, pretty sure I can see. Yeah. So I'm well, just making one of my regular bows that I usually make. Just an average. I know I make bow. tons, I make tons of different kinds. In fact, I'm going to be on Sarah's live. Yeah, when are we doing that? You want to do? Do you want to do that next week? Are we doing it next week? Yeah, you asked. We schedule that. Yeah, I scheduled it. 
Thanks for reminding me. I'm happy that you're going to be on. <laughs> and I'm going to do a, diff a lot of different uh, uh, boats. I'm not just going to do this kind. Oh, my three sons says she has an extra bow maker and she wants to send it to me, but I don't know if she has my address. I need to get in touch with her. Cool. Because I want one really bad. Of course, this one I made. I know. And I could just watch your video and make one, but you know, if she's got an extra one laying around. Of course. Heck yeah. I know, right? <laughs> and I am like already intimidated by bows. I don't know why they are like my kryptonite. And I need some Connie attention, one on one bow attention from Connie. Yeah. It's going to be like basically my education. Oh, Jackie says it usually happens around 45 when you need readers. Well, you know, I'm 42. So when I'm about halfway to 90 is when I'm going to need readers in about three years. I told my friends that when I hit 45, I want them to throw me a halfway to 90 party. Well, but then you could also be like me. I didn't start using readers until two years ago. There we go. So. I know every time when I'm like a little tired and my eyes feel blurry, I'm like, there I go. I'm it's gone. I'm a goner. Um. <laughs> okay. So I'm done with the bow. Now I'm going to hook this all together. I'm obsessed <laughs> with the number, the amount of ribbon that you're doing here. <laughs> Almost done. Almost done. Then I can put them all on. I feel like maybe I should have prepped some of this stuff before we went live. I'm loving watching you do this. It's like very like, I don't know. You're very precise. I love how everything's perfectly measured. That is doing my OCD wonder. Like I love it. Well, I'm OCD too. So I think that might help. Um, I can tell that about you. <laughs> um, and, and like Connie's bow maker, how she makes each side of her bows, like exactly four inches like that warms my heart you know okay so there's the bow you. and i'm gonna cut dovetail shelly's from shelly's crafty corner says i i i wear glasses since i was four years old so cannot complain about age yeah my daughter wears glasses and she's just so cute we took a picture tonight with her glasses on and with her glasses off and we put them side by side just because she was curious and i was like Sweetie, you you don't look right without glasses on. You look so cute with your glasses on. So we 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 prefer the glasses on. And then um, Simple Root, Simple Living, which is Jamie, I believe, says, I swear yeah. by the readers with the blue blocking for computer work, a.k.a. editing. Yes, girl, I know. We spend more time editing than anything else. Am I right, ladies? Yes. Okay. I hope this looks right color-wise. Let's see it. Let me hold it up. Yeah, I mean, it looks good when you hold it up. When it's down, it looks a little peach. Yeah, it's not peach at all. So that's yeah. Cool. So then it's probably just the lighting. Yeah. So now I gotta hook it through. And I'm gonna use some twist tie. I buy it by the bundles. Twist tie. Or I could use. Doesn't matter. I've got. Twist tie, and I also have uh, bundles of uh, wire too. Uh, Liz Santabria says, "Very pretty, Connie." Thank you. I concur. It's going on I... my front door tomorrow. Oh well, that's gonna bring like cheer and stuff to anybody that comes to your door. Yeah, I, uh, I'm gonna take off my other one I made for Easter, the cross one. So. Yeah, I'm gonna put this one on. Do you save yours, Connie, and use them every year? Um, if I like them. Multiple times, I should say, I guess. Yeah, I do use them multiple times. Um, until Connie, I, get I feel started. like I'm gonna go get some, I'm gonna go to the Dollar Tree or no, Walmart or yeah, both and get some stuff and maybe make a couple wreaths to put bows on for next week. Cool. Awesome. Okay. So where's my other, where'd it go? Oh, 
I lost my other hand. Where is my Chanel stem? Oh, no, there it is. I can't do I anything without my Chanel stems. <laughs> it was my swire, and I'm like, oh. Sorry. <laughs> Every time I hear the word, I I knew I was gonna hear be hearing Chanel stem tonight, and I was just thinking like, it's very like, you know, like the really wealthy people on Gilligan's Island. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. I feel like only they would be like <laughs> the howls. Like, the howls. They'd be like, yep. darling, we need our Chanel stems. <laughs> <laughs> you know. Yeah. Okay, in there. Everyone's talking about how they can't see without their glasses. And Liz said, I was 60. Now I'm 62. You skipped 61? Liz, <laughs> that's concerning. <laughs> Tracy Gartrell is here from Australia. Oh, and hello. She says, Hi, ladies. Hi, Tracy. Hello. Yeah, I um, didn't start actually wearing regular glasses until I was. Yeah, 46, no, almost 50. And then um, I didn't start wearing readers until just a few years ago. Wow. I've worn glasses as long as I can remember. I'm well, te technically legally blind without my contacts. A bunch of my kids and my grandkids have had to have eye surgery. Because we have what's called, uh, well, the short term name for it is uh, lady. We don't need eye. to do too much. We don't need to do too much medical talk. Well, it, it's. <laughs> I'm just saying, like for those of us that are queasy about those things, I don't. I'm not speaking from personal experience. I'm just saying. Well, no, it's it's not that. It's 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 lazy eye. But don't That's talk about the medical procedure because I can't handle it. Okay. I won't. Okay. No, I was oh, I don't Sometimes have people are like, first they did this incision. I'm like, no, please stop. I like get yeah. sympathy pain. And then all of a sudden my eyes are going to start hurting. <laughs> yeah. No, I just, they've had to have surgery on their eyes. because I, I'm not going in no further. Okay. Thank you. I can't. Now I feel like I might need to get an eye patch or something. <laughs> my grandma had cataract surgery on her eyes and it was so hard. For me oh, I could yeah. hear with her patch on her eye and I'd be like oh my eye hurts I gotta have that eventually it's too much okay I had a young friend done. that had cataract surgery I was like that's bizarre this is completely finished oh D's here our buddy hey, our partner in crime for our um our gouache collab that was so fun wasn't that Connie it, I love gouache Honestly, I am falling in love with it too. I was so happy with my painting and I did not expect to be. How does that look? I think it's pretty, but I feel that like the pretty. grass needs, I don't know, something with the grass. I don't like I it. I feel like it needs to be spread out on your right. No, your other right. <laughs> you, mean, you mean this side? Yeah. Is that your left? That's my left. Oh, well, it's because you're mirrored to me. Yeah. Yeah, like, see, on the other side, it's, like, more spread out. That's what I think it's missing. How about that? Yeah, that's better. And I can work with it some more. And then if yeah. I don't like it, I'll take it off and do something else. There you go. But I like the little butterflies. So, okay, that's done. All right. Now I've got my wreath for uh, my door. That's awesome, Connie. Huh? That was cute. That's cute. That was awesome. It's so cute. Thank you. I mean, I got to say that, um, what did you call the technique that you did where you ruffle and you crinkle, crumple, cruffle? Yeah. The cruffle is really, really pretty. Yeah, it is. Cute. I mean, honestly, you can't see your base layer anymore. Like the right. black, yeah, the, the yeah. black mesh deco mesh that you put on in the very beginning is. Oh, I guess yeah. I can see little bits of it. Just little. They kind of just peek out a little That's bit. That's just your base, and it's kind of like. Okay, so it's just putting something down so that if you see the background, it's not like you see wire. You're you're seeing something right. 
and it's something to attach like the other pieces to. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And so now what are you doing? You're, you're like kind of folding those in half and putting, attaching them with your Chanel. Uh, yeah. um, I clean her. <laughs> D, I've never made a mesh wreath either. It's deco mesh. And both of these ladies, you need to watch this from the very beginning. Both of these ladies did two different styles. Oh, Liz is explaining it at the same time as me. Jinx, Liz. <laughs> Liz, Liz, Liz. You're, you don't have to be silent. Okay. Both ladies did two different styles and they both are beautiful. That's what Liz said. And I was just about to say the okay. same thing. Tracy says, hey, Connie, how's your puppy? But I didn't want to say it too loud because I didn't want he to is, start talking. He don't is say his name. Great. He's laying down now looking up at me. And so I'm trying not to look over there at him. It don't yeah. say but he's great. <laughs> yeah, he is amazing. And um, yes, Jamie, I see what she said. You're right. I have a pair of readers right here, and a lot of. Yeah. And Jamie. I always have. I know. I was readers. laughing at what Jamie said. And I put them like this, and I shove them up like this, and then I grab another pair and put them on. <laughs> oh yeah. Because I've got them everywhere, and I buy them from Dollar Tree because they work. Amazing. So yeah, look what I got myself. I haven't used it yet. Is that a sure bonder? Ooh. I'm feeling some jealousy. Does it have a detail tip on it? No, but I don't need a detail tip. I mean, it's got a little tip, so maybe it is. Yeah. It doesn't have any extra tips, but I can take this off, so I'm sure I can buy extra tips for it. But it has one of these like this, and I always knock them over. Because yes, mine is got a its own stand. Oh la 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 la! And I don't have that problem, so I'm gonna have to make myself a little stand for it to sit on. I was just thinking that, Connie. That um, I wonder if you could build something that could hold different tools. Oh. Uh yeah, I probably can. Like that would be an interesting project. If you could feel feel like okay, like heat gun maybe, glue gun, and what else? Yeah, because my my heat gun is right here, on this yeah. side of me, and then I've got my glue gun here, and then the other one as well. I've got two glue guns here. I have more, but this is the only ones I have here, and then. I could even put my wood burning tool because it's up there. You know what would be nice is if you built something and then you covered it in like a silicone mat. Because that way, if the glue got on it, you could just clean it off really easy. Yeah, and then see, you could use your heat yep. gun too. This is what I use for my, or your, my hot your wood burning tool. This is what I use for my hot glue. Let me clean it off. It's from the Dollar he Tree. Says, Ooh, la, 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 la. Funny. <laughs> It's from the, this is a, from the Dollar Tree. It's a um, pot holder. Oh, okay. And but it's, it's silicone. silicone. It's silicone. Yeah, that's perfect. And it just peels right off. So, yeah, that's what I use. I have sitting underneath it just in case it drips. Um, Mine don't do Jackie it, was but... saying, what about your soldering iron? Soldering iron. Soldering iron. Soldering. soldering. I don't have a soldering iron anymore. I used to have one, um, but I haven't, I don't have one right now. I would love to have one. I just don't know what I would be doing with it, but I used to, I used to make, um, uh, electrical parts, boards, I think what it's called. You, oh, soldered, you, were, you did PC boards? Soldering boards. It's called Tommy. soldering boards. Get out okay. of time. Huh? What? We're learning a new thing. What did you do? You used to like build computers from scratch, like Steve Jobs in your garage, <laughs> in between no. surf surfing the waves. It's too I, much for me, Connie. It's getting okay. to be too much. My stepdad was a ham radio operator, and he had his own TV and radio repair store shop. And I used to work in the shop and I had to solder the soldering boards. I wish Tiffany was here right now. I'm going to, I'm going to have to call her and tell her about this and make her watch then, this. Yeah. And then because she would chuckle with me. You know why? Yeah, because we yeah, say yeah, that yeah. you basically do everything. Well, 
<laughs> yeah, and then and and because he was a ham radio operator, we had an eighty foot uh, uh, tower connected to the back, the back of our house. Eighty, and I would go, me. I'd shimmy right up to the top. Yeah, I remember oh, the goodness. picture you posted. I could picture you shimmying up to the top. I used to get in trouble all the time. My mom would say, "Get off of there, Connie! You don't have a, a guide belt on." Cause my my dad always wore a belt because he was scared of heights. I said, "But I'm not scared of heights." And she goes, but what if you fall? I said, then I die. <laughs> Honey, I'm not already. Okay, yes. D says, yet another skill Connie knows, right? And then Jackie Burns says, stained glass. Oh, is that what you use the soldering uh, tool for? Oh, yes, yes. Stained glass, too. You use the soldering on, on your lead. I've done that, too. I want to do heat, that. You heat, it, you heat your lead up for your lead. For your, I have a question um, for Connie. Yes. What, what's that? It's for calligraphy? like calligraphy. Oh, yeah. Have you done calligraphy? Tons. I got this kit years ago and I've never used it. And I thought it would make for a fun video to try it. I it's a kit. Calligraphy. It's like to learn it. It, it like has all the stuff yeah. in it to learn. I have a bunch of calligraphy pens. I need to get an oil. I need to get an inkwell because I don't have an inkwell. Mine dry. These out. are these are Faber Castell, which I think are like very nice. It's a nice brand. So is I'm. It, uh, I think I'm going to do a video. Pen? I. Yeah, they're pens. Okay, so I have the actual, you dip it into the ink. Right. And These are run. like three different shaped pens so that you yeah, can do different styles too. of calligraphy. I have those. At least I did. I don't know. I have to look for them. You know what it's saying? Contemporary calligraphy. So it must be like a newer style. I see but I think, it's, I think it would make for a cool video, like opening the kit and seeing how you can, like how good you can get. Oh yeah, I used to use the ink the ones and actually draw pictures with them. With that is the so cool. Ink. And then I um, used to do uh, scratch boards or scratch paper. Uh, I bet Jackie knows what it is. You get it looks like a cardstock, but it's covered in black ink, and the cardstock is white and the black, and then you have your black ink, and you scratch it off. And make your picture. I have tons yeah. of them that I made, and oh, you wow. can get white too. And the paper underneath is black, and so oh. you scratch off the white, and you make your picture. Interesting. Yeah, it was um, fun. Jackie, are you talking about stained glass? You need to do a video doing stained glass. Yeah. yeah, she does. I call it lead. It's lead free, but it's it's the leading. That's what they call it. But yeah, it's lead um, free. I would really love to see that, Jackie. Yeah, that would be interesting. And then and Kathleen he, says, have you heard of Rhonda's creations? Does she do stained glass? Is that why? Yes. She and then Jackie says, I use lead free. Okay. Well, that yeah. makes sense. Lead free because <laughs> lead's not good for you. Right. Is and that then, why? Yeah. Lead's, lead's not good for you to touch your skin. Now, and, um, you can do faux stained glass with galaxy glass from plaid, says Jamie. I've been thinking about getting that because I'm a plaid ambassador. And Jackie Byrne says, yes, and jewelry. And then she also says, scratch paper, love it. You know, I feel like my daughters use scratch paper, but it hasn't been white underneath. It's been like rainbow paper underneath and then black. It can be. I'm, I'm like, talking. For kids. I think for kids, yeah. they do it like rainbow. And Charlotte loves it. And she will draw like a unicorn on it. And it's like so fun for her. Yeah, it's really fun. I'm sure they have other colors. But when I was doing it, it was just black and white. That's, that's, that's love awesome. Me. I love the idea of black and white for like doing it as an adult. Like for me, like I would prefer that. I used to do animals like lions and oh, tigers. Yeah. And I feel like I remember that from my, from when I was younger. I, I did it when I was in art school. So yeah. Now I want to see Jackie's jewelry and stained glass. This is like, now I really like feel like I really want to see this. I have to get back into that. I haven't done jewelry in so many years. <laughs> I still have a lot of you stuff. do jewelry. Should we have that be an art medium that we use? <laughs> oh, there's so many oh, things I want to try. It's too much, right? Looks like Liz is leading. Oh, yes. Liz says she had a procedure done today at the doctor's, oh. a CAT scan. So I'm really tired. Thank you, Connie and Marjorie. Great job. And thank you, Sarah, also. Oh, thank night, you. Liz. Thank, thank you, you so much. Her. I always Still love better. having you in any, whenever I'm in a chat, it's Liz is always so fun to chat with. Yes. And Jackie, you're going to uh, do it when you get back from the vacation. Do you leave 
tomorrow or is it the next day that you leave for your vacation? Connie loves to let everybody know when you're not going to be in your house so that people can go rob you. She did that when I left from Mexico. <laughs> she was like, Sarah, exactly when are you going to be home and what's your address and where do you hide your key? I do not do that. <laughs> yeah, she did. She did that to me. And I, I was like, not Connie, I'm not trying to let everybody know. She's like, you're leaving Saturday, right? At around 10 a.m.? Exactly. <laughs> oh, yeah, right. <laughs> And what's your your security code is? Hey, uh, I was going to tell you, uh, Jamie, I'm coming through Colorado in July, and I'll be in Utah in July. August. In We're in Shasta Mountain. I'm going to go to Shasta Mountain. Does anybody live near there? I don't know where it is. Is it where is it? Omaha. Oh, she's already there. She's she's left. <laughs> she left on Tuesday. She's already on vacation. I won't say where oh. I think I know you're at. So see Connie I have an idea where she's at but I'm not gonna say it's trouble Connie is I, trouble. Jamie I will let you know what the dates are and Jackie I will be in Utah from June, June 27th to July I leave to come back on July 8th that's a long trip well and then we're bringing our um our uh by then she'll be 13 year old granddaughter back she'll be at our house for two weeks and then we're going back to colorado and dropping switching off with our daughter we'll meet her there um d said that she had a procedure done this week as well and jackie mm -hmm. says she is a big guy who lives in her basement yes she does <laughs> 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 oh jackie says great and she'll see you then Good. Awesome. We'll make sure that we meet up. Um, sure. I feel like I need to get in on this trip. So send me the dates because I want to take Charlotte to, I might have like an eight year old with me, if that's okay. I but we can meet that. up for like a meal and a craft. Yeah. We, we, we go do meals. We go uh, Dollar Tree shopping. We go Goodwill. Oh, yeah. Or shopping. thrift. Thrift. We, yeah. do thrift. we do thrift. You know, I didn't sign Charlotte up for any camps this summer because I think I want to take like little trips with her. Not like long. I just want to do like little like weekend trips, stuff like that. Awesome. Yeah. You should probably um, meet me like in in August. Well, I'm going to Oklahoma in August. Oklahoma. <laughs> We're going to go see. Um we are going to go see uh rick springfield sting and someone else in concert you know i have like a wonderful con concert place right near me it's called ravinia and it's like this outdoor space and they okay. we have awesome bands and it's like a lot you can go in and the cheap tickets lawn seats you can bring food and stuff like picnic style uh-huh <laughs> They do. Just they have. If you want to come and see a concert, you could come visit me. <laughs> I, have to tell, I already told my husband we need to make a trip to Chicago. So yeah, we'll just have to get to it. Yeah. You gotta let me know so that I can get out the air mattress and blow that sucker up. Yeah, we had a little bit of. Uh, my husband had a doctor's appointment today. He's got he's got type two diabetes, mm -hmm. and his eyes are starting to deteriorate. Oh. And it's starting to affect his liver. Oh, that's tough. So, yeah. Yeah. But, I mean, he could live for many, 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 many more years. So, Of course. So, yeah. He just has to take care of himself. He let his A1C get a little too high. So they're going to put him on a, a... A medication for that? No, they're going to put him on a medication to suppress his hunger because he's always hungry yeah and then he eats that could be always. a side effect from one of his other medications no it could be i yeah. don't know it could be, but no i doubt it because he's always been this way as long as i've known him some people are always hungry some people are always feel full like i always feel full yeah so they're gonna try and get him on a, a, a hunger you know to suppress his suppress hunger them. yeah so that maybe he'll stop eating so many starches he'll sit and eat um, crackers after crackers after crackers and he'll mm. eat uh, like bread and he'll eat um, 
like goldfish. He'll get a great big giant bolt thing of it. And that's like all the carbs he's supposed to have in a whole day. Yeah. yeah. I'll tell so, you what, if somebody puts out a good charcuterie spread, put, put a stool right next to it for me and I won't move for a whole evening. <laughs> I like meats and cheeses. Yeah, I, Jackie, you're right. Red Rocks is awesome. I like Red Rocks. Um, yeah, I mean, I've heard of Red Rocks. I've never been there. And also, Jamie, no pressure, but my name does have an H. I'm not trying to be aggressive, but it is not spelled without an H. It's she Sarah. She likes it's called Sarah, not Sarah. Not Sarah? <laughs> it's Sarah. Sarah. <laughs> Okay, Dee's asking you to sing, but I got to sing too. Yeah, you have to sing. And I think you should, wait, what was it? Tool comes on a spool. <laughs> and Deco Mesh. I got to do a song that has all that. <laughs> Woo! Let's see. I make my own songs up, Marjorie. Yeah. I don't know if you do that. Every live, I make up a song and I sing it on the fly. So you want... What deco mesh tool? We don't have. We didn't use any tool. You sure you want tool? No, I just I made the rhyme. Tool comes on a spool, but you don't need to use that. I mean, I'll, I'm planning on copywriting that. <laughs> okay, Marjorie, you saw that song that says that. I'm just hanging in your crack room. <laughs> uh, Marjorie, you throw out something, a topic. Oh, watch. I'm not to witty go, at work. Go along with deco mesh. <laughs> Cruffle. <laughs> that word I can't say. No, don't. No, don't give her cruffle. Would it? <laughs> okay. Making wreaths. Okay. Bows. Okay. Yeah, I'm just not witty with words. <laughs> All right, that's fine. Okay, so let me get. Give me one second. I finished my wreath. Awesome. It's beautiful. Well, <laughs> it's, it's kind of like a fun day. I'm going to get it right eventually. There's yeah. my bow. <laughs> it's a little bit bigger than what I can. Oh, my Lanta. <laughs> yours is an 18 inch. Mine was only a 14, right? No, mine's 14. Oh, oh I was going to say, is there, a, is there like a hole in the middle? Yeah, so there is. is. Count? Yeah. I was thinking right like, it looked like a not a... It didn't look like a donut. It looked like a donut hole. But yeah, there is a little hole yeah. right there in the middle. <laughs> yeah. Tiny. With you you make yours. Uh, that's a mighty wreath. Yeah, they end up being about 24 inches wide and typically about six inches in deep end up wow. with all the stuff on it. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you don't you don't mess around. That's a nice no. <laughs> that's a hefty wreath. I love it. Well, thank you. All right. Kath, uh, Kathleen is leaving. Good night. And then I'm going to sing my song. I think I have it in my head. If Ooh. not, it'll come to me as I sing it. Because that's usually Jackie, how it happens. Oh, and Jackie Burns says gorgeous about your wreath, by the way. Yes. Thank you, ma'am. Okay. Are we ready? Yes. There was a night I was walking down the aisle on the, at the Wally store. <laughs> this stuff, I saw these big old rolls. It was kind of shiny. I'm like, what could that possibly be? So I walked over to this stuff and I'm like, deco mesh? What is that? Well, I had to grab it, took it home, pulled it out. Wow, what am I going to do with this stuff? Well, me know, knowing me as a crafter, I just had to. Ruffle it and make a wreath. <laughs> Cruffle it. <laughs> Cruffle it. Cruffle it and make a wreath. <laughs> Just think like cracker when you Cruffle, think of Cruffle. Cruffle it. Cruffle it. Oh, yeah. I love it. Honey, you never disappoint. No. What is this? For the aisle. What? What is this? Knowing me. Oh. I'm going to it. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. So cute. Oh. This was, yeah. I felt like I learned a ton from both of you ladies. And I feel like everyone in the chat feels the same way. Yeah. I, I had a lot of fun. Thank you very much, both of you. I am so and glad this was Marjorie's first time going live, right, Marjorie? Yes, ma'am. 
did it feel a little bit pain free? I mean, me and Connie are both chatty. Yeah, it was it wasn't bad. Um, it was it was good. I mean, uh, I'm a manager, so I, I'm used to speaking and doing all that stuff. <laughs> so that's awesome. That's cool. Well, I definitely enjoyed it. I used to be a speaker. I I used to um, speak for Weight Watcher meetings. Oh, okay. so, what else, Connie? <laughs> Every week is something new, huh? Shelly <laughs> says, fun and gorgeous wreaths. Yeah, you know what? It's Thank nice you, to have Shelley. a fun night with friends. Yes, I love Thursday night. In fact, my whole day is all about my blight. My whole yeah. family knows it. I always have to do this and this and this, and I have it all lined up. I don't cook on Thursdays. Nothing. It's Feed yourself. Up. Fend for yourselves, people. <laughs> my husband, my husband I got my live cook. tonight. My husband usually cooks. Like tonight, he made um, Alfredo, and last night he or last week he made breakfast. Oh, I love breakfast for dinner. I do that. Mm -hmm. Charlotte and I love breakfast for dinner. He did pancakes last week. I prefer uh, French toast, but pancakes were okay. See, okay, so I'm just gonna tell you this right now. I love eggs, bacon, toast. That is Real my breakfast for dinner. Like I love eggs. pancakes and stuff, but if I'm doing breakfast for dinner, I'm going full bacon, eggs, and toast. Oh, like I'm yeah. going when I have back, when I have pancakes, he puts a two um, over easy eggs on you top hungry. with <laughs> bacon and sausage. <laughs> we always have bacon and sausage, no matter what. Oh, okay. I, I, have, I, I feel like I need to go down and cook stuff now. Is that yeah, good? turkey bacon or regular? Bacon. Is it good to eat sausage right and here. bacon at nine sixteen at night? No, it's good. It's good for the heart. <laughs> and then I have I have biscuits in the fridge that I'm going to be making soon. Biscuits and gravy. Love biscuits and gravy. I made my own homemade gravy. I love biscuits and gravy too. I make it homemade too. Oh, I'm going to yeah. make that for tomorrow. I love gravy. <laughs> I everyone, have all the fixings. Everyone tells me it's so fattening. I'm like, it's no, no, it's really not. Because if you do the flour, it's like two or three tablespoons of flour with like two or three tablespoons of butter and then broth. And that's for all of the whole thing of gravy. And if you do a cornstarch, you even have less carbs. I use milk or sometimes I'll use heavy whipping cream. It depends on what kind you're making. Cause I make a brown gravy. I make a yellow. I do gravy. white. I do white gravy. I do a white gravy. I do a country gravy. There's different kinds of. I mean, I'll I tell you what. My gravy is not healthy. Okay. It's all about moderation, though, right? Yeah. Yes. Unhealthy yes. stuff. Exactly. I. <laughs> I my husband it. makes us greens. I, my husband makes us pay, um, salads almost every day for lunch. Perfect. And there he pours his dressing, and I go. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> I know. It's so funny. Everybody has like a different, like I like a lot of dressing too, but it has to be the right kind of dressing. But yeah. He uses a balsamic vinaigrette. Oh, I could mm. never do that. No, no. Yeah. I like a sweet dressing. I get, I use blue cheese. Jackie says, love biscuits and gravy. Biscuits and gravy. Is I feel like we should have a biscuits and gravy cook off. <laughs> oh yeah. So uh, Jamie says you're making this chunky girl hungry. Oh, this chunky girl's hungry too. <laughs> Jamie, you're not. Jamie, you're not. You're not chunky. <laughs> hey, um, I mean, I like being a little bit chunky. I don't I'm, mind. I'm I'm perfect just the way I am. I used to be really super super thin for years and years and years, and now I'm not so thin, and I'm okay. Yeah. As long as I can still continue doing what I want to do and getting down on the floor to play with my grandchildren, I'm okay. Yeah. Cause that's what I love doing. Yeah. Oh, I have some fun things Hudson's um, did this week. Of course, Mr. Hudson, my grandson, my now four-year-old grandson, because he just had his birthday. Squeezable. Jamie hey. says she's chunky and squeezable. <laughs> I'm also squeezable, but nobody's nobody's reaching out and grabbing nothing. Nobody's trying to squeeze me. Okay, so you got to hear this, Hudson's. Most frequent phrase this week has been, I wasn't talking to you. <gasps> oh, she goes, yes. she goes, if I hear him talking and say what, because we're the only two at home, 
or when I'm listening to him talk about something in the car and I say, huh? And he says, I wasn't talking to you. <laughs> Who's he talking to? His toys. Oh, okay. Got it. Sorry. And then let's see. What was some other things he was saying? Oh, I don't know if you can see this. He wrote. Oh, you can't see. Can you see that? He he did the crossword and wrote the word the words in without help. Wow, oh, that's awesome. how old is he? Four. And then let's see. Tracy says she's not chunky, but I'm curvaceous and ooh dot 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 what and what Tracy? <laughs> I feel like she's gonna say like sultry. Oh. Uh, or maybe she's going to say, oh, oh listen to this. The other day, Hudson was drawing on the driveway with sidewalk chalk. Yeah. And I asked him what he was drawing. And he said, the Aurora, the Aurora Borealis. Oh my goodness. They're too smart. Yeah. He's, he's, he blows me away. Yes, Tracy, James, curvaceous and what? Tracy, curvaceous and? <laughs> Sorry. And my he is such a smart cookie. I can't even believe that. I know. He's my four-year-old grandson. And the other one who is really super intelligent, the one you saw kind of a little bit, he'll be 20 next month. He's my oldest. Aww. He's less. your youngest or your oldest? The one that was standing behind me is my oldest grandson. He'll be 20 next month. Hudson is not my youngest grandson. I have um, one that's younger than him who Aww. will be three at the end of this month and then i have another baby on the way in no another grandchild number nine in november wow. tracy said voluptuous yes voluptuous. good way to put it <laughs> i knew she was going to say voluptuous <laughs> but she kind of added some ex extra letters she was like voluptuous <laughs> it was a yeah. lot i mean the spelling was super creative and i liked it yeah, Jackie said she quit smoking in 1994 and a hysterectomy and put on weight. Okay, I did not have a hysterectomy, but when, just before I had my last daughter. My are starting to hurt you guys. Um, just before I had my last daughter, I had, before I got pregnant with her, I had quit drinking and smoking. And then I had her and then I got really super, I was pregnant, you know, got pregnant with her. I got really super thin and then I started gaining weight afterwards. Oh well. I am like so perfect the way I am. I've never been happier. I love like people. I have this one friend that just turned 40 and she's like super upset about the fact that she's 40. I'm like, I'm 42. I've never been happier. I feel so content with how I look, how I feel. I don't feel like I need to diet. I don't feel like anything. I feel content. Like I That's feel like I look fine the way I am. I I don't have any desire to like be more perfect, more thin, more anything. I'm fine. Yeah. On my, the day that me and my husband, I think the day we're taking my granddaughter back to Colorado to meet up with her mom or the day we're coming back will be my 60th birthday. Congratulations. We have a big party. Wait, huh? we need to have like a, a birthday live. <gasps> well, I won't be here. here. <laughs> so <laughs> well, Jamie said that she's still working on losing the baby weight. For, from her 35 year old, which like, yeah, listen, it's <laughs> my grand, my youngest daughter is 29. So yeah, it's been, and my oldest daughter will be 40 this year. Jackie says that I'm, I am perfect. And guess what? Jackie, you're my favorite. Don't tell yeah. Connie. <laughs> <laughs> we'll share. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, man. All right. It is getting late. It's almost a, an hour and a half we've been on here. We both finished two gorgeous reads. Gorgeous. And thank you so much, Marjorie, for coming on. And don't be surprised if I ask you on again. I'm trying, to get sure. Jamie, I'm trying to get Jamie on, but she was busy. And I'm trying to get Jackie on. Definitely, but Jackie. I want you guys to do stained glass. I don't have anything to do stained glass unless I order it from Plaid. Yeah, I would like to see that. I've never seen that. Process. I want to see that. 
I used to do stained glass all the time, but I haven't done it in a long time. Well, just visit Jackie and, you know, get yeah. a, get a, like a swag bag from Jackie's house. <laughs> okay, so on um, we close my lives, each one of us gets to take a turn saying goodbye the way we say goodbye at the end of our um, videos. So, Marjorie, do you have anything special you say? Uh, not really. Just I always just thank everybody for their support and let them know that I appreciate every everything they do every time they watch or comment. So and that just I just hope everybody has a blessed weekend. Awesome. And Sarah? I always tell people to jump outside their comfort zone and try new things. And I also want to say happy Mother's Day to all the mothers out there. That's this oh, it is. I was just going to say the same thing. <laughs> Well, we can say it more than once. Yes. Happy Mother's Day to all of you out there. Have yeah. I hope you guys all have a great uh, Mother's Day. And I end my videos with call somebody today and tell them that you love them because it might be exactly what they need to hear today. Mm -hmm. Also have a blessed week and be the Bible that somebody reads today. Bye, guys. Bye. See you next week. You guys have a great week. Bye-bye.